my first date with a writer. We swiped right on each other a while back. Never messaged her until now. Too busy letting my girlfriend break up with me. String me along for months. And so I walk up to this downtown restaurant tonight. My date's face falls. Maybe I don't look like my online photos, though I do. Nothing five years old or 20 pounds thinner. Exact same amount of tastefully applied makeup. She orders something vegetarian and hearty. I inhale an entire plate of pad thai on my own in eating contest where I'm the only entrant. Loving food console me. We discuss work, education, family, other partners, and like every other girl on girl date I have been on, I am the only one without a graduate degree. My date's taken no writing classes, but she writes poetry and a little creative nonfiction, she says. Exactly the same reality-based genres as me. I realize we'll both write about this date later. She'll say I wasn't political enough. I was prettier in my pictures. Something was just missing. We are both about to become material. She is more enthusiastic when they come to refill her water glass than she ever is toward me. Except when I secretly pick up the check. We'll probably run into each other soon enough. If I hadn't been sick, we'd both have read the same open mic last month. <sighs> Polite side hug farewell at supermarket bike rack 90 minutes before sunset. I head home. On my living room floor, I spend half an hour lacing up brand new thigh-high boots bought online for dance class. But before I pull off these boots or journal one word about tonight, a text arrives from my date. She wants to be literary friends or friends' friends, but hey, no pressure. We only said goodbye 46 minutes ago. She couldn't even wait one hour to reject me. On our date, she seems so proud to have stayed in touch with her exes. I secretly thought she was crazy. It's not a skill I care for. Once one of us has rejected the other as a lover, I'm gone. No need to torture myself when your name pops up on my phone. Couldn't I just have been ghosted this week instead? And then my primary partner laughs at tonight's predicament. He says, at least it's a good deal dating a writer. One date provides material for two different authors. Well, fuck you, I swear back, and whack him with a pillow. My first date with a writer should also be my last. <laughs> <laughs>